Hello and welcome to this session on JMeter. Today we are going to learn how can we get real-time results and summary when we run our JMeter test from command line or non-GUI mode. Okay, so one of the problems in non-GUI mode is if I run any of my test, what it is going to do is it will start the test and it will end the test and create the report. But while the test is running, it will not show us any of the summary or the execution results in runtime mode or real time. So you can see, uh, you can see this uh, test I had executed. So it started and then it completed, and it has it is only showing me the start and end of the test case. But I cannot see any summary or the real time execution results. Right. So that is what we learned today. We will uh, use JMeter summarizer for this, which is an inbuilt. Uh, JMeter component and then we will try using an external plugin which is called console status logger for the same so let us begin and step number one will be you have to go to your jmeter.properties file and edit summarizer section okay so let us see what we have to do is uh, let me go to my JMeter so wherever your JMeter is located, you will go to the home directory and inside bin, you will find a file called jmeter.properties. Let us open it with any text editor. So this is the file and here you will find a section on JMeter summarizer. So let us go down and you will there will be a section. here you can see this section this is for a uh, summarizer and by default all the properties are uh, commented out so what we will do is we will uncomment the properties so we will say summarizer dot name is equal to summary here summarizer interval by default you will find it 30 seconds but because our test is very short we will keep it somewhere around two seconds so after every two seconds we should get the report okay in case your test is too long you can keep it as 10 minutes or 20 minutes or whatever uh, requirements you have okay uh, then we can also uncomment log true so it will write the logs to the log file as well and then this also summarizer dot out so we will uncomment all these things and save it okay and now we will run our test from our GUI again so let us see this time what happens I am executing the same test again and now you can see after every two seconds I am getting the summary okay so it is getting the summary of the test which is in progress so this is the real time results I am getting so I am getting the average the minimum the max and the error so after every two seconds I am getting the summary of my test and if we go to our logs let me go to jmeter.log in the same file let me open it with any of the text editors here also you will get the summary so here you can see this uh, you are getting the summary whatever we were getting in the console where we were getting it logged in the log file as well okay so this is how you can get it so step two I should write here is this should be saved and then run non GUI test again and validate so this can be very handy when you are running from non GUI mode and uh, you have a very long test to run so that you can validate your results in real time okay so this was about JMeter summarizer so let us also learn about control status logger okay now uh, for testing that let me comment it again the JMeter summarizer so we will not get the results from this summarizer okay and now we will look into console status logger okay so step one will be download 
console status logger plugin so you will go to your browser and say jmeter console status logger and the very first site that we will get we will get an option to download it so you can download it from here okay and it will get downloaded as a zip file okay you can get the whatever latest version you have at your time okay once you download it you should be getting a zip file like this that you have to unzip and whatever you are getting inside the lib folder that you will put inside your jmeter home directory lib and whatever jars we are getting inside ext should go in inside your ext folder so uh, if you go to your jmeter inside your home directory there will be a lib directory so the first jar will go inside lib and inside lib there is an ext directory and the next two jars which were inside ext should go here and then you can restart your jmeter okay so i will say put jars in directory and restart jmeter and then step number two will be you have to go to your jmeter ui and whatever test plan you have so we are using this test plan that we created in our uh, fourth session so you can look at that and whatever test plan you have you have to add a listener and then you will get a listener called console status logger and you will only get this after you have added the plugin and restarted jmeter so you will add this listener and you can see it is saying this is a simple listener that prints short summary log to console while jmeter is running in non gui mode so i will add it save it so i will say here in jmeter ui add listener console status logger and then you have to save it okay so i have saved my test plan and now i will go again to my non gui mode to my command prompt and i will run my test again and this time you will see the summarizer will not show anything but we are still getting the threads the sample latency response time and errors so now we are getting real time data being generated on our console with the use of this particular listener so now the test is over and we have got all our results here okay so this is how we can get real-time results in non-gui mode hope you like it thank you